You know, I really like tea. What's up, guys? It's your boy Kess here at 1 in the morning. And uh, I couldn't sleep, right? So I decide I'm going to go on the internet, peruse as I usually do, hope I can fall asleep. And shout out to my boy Chicken Lord because he winked me this wonderful, wonderful clip of this stupid vegan getting owned on live TV because she tried to force feed her dog salad. It's, it is both the funniest and the saddest thing I have ever seen. So let's go ahead and roll the clip. Here's a uh, vegetarian who's been uh, training her dog to be a vegetarian. I think we should all pay very close attention to this. Have a look. So some of you just don't believe that my dog's a vegetarian. Yeah, and have you ever actually stopped to ask yourself why we don't believe that? Could it maybe be, and now this is just, just a wild guess here, but could it maybe be that dogs for thousands of years have always eaten meat? That they descended from wolves and that is their instinct to hunt down and kill animals and eat them, not to go out and pick little plants and eat, fill their cheeks with them like a little chipmunk. I swear, there are some people out there who just don't seem to live in a world of facts. You know, when they hear something like, oh, dogs eat meat, you gotta feed them meat. They're just like, lol, no you don't. And then that's just supposed to be it. And it's, and it, do you notice it's always weird looking people like this? Some little soy latte sipping girl in Los Angeles with this short multi cover hair. Oh, wait a minute. She's not from Los Angeles. She's from Australia. S seriously, Australia? Come on, that, that's getting sad. I used to like Australia. Okay, that's where Maxima Matt is from, and even he couldn't turn around and represent enough to make up for this madness. So I have this set up right now for you guys to see. We have this really gross, um, it's like a beef, like dog food, and then I have this delicious green salad. So I'm gonna bring her out and we're gonna see which one she likes. Also, my dog is very healthy. She loves greens. She loves her salad. And I don't force her to eat her salad. It's what she likes. You don't, you don't force your dog to eat the salad. She just naturally chooses it of her own will. <laughs> I, I, I don't believe you. I don't believe for a single second that one day you were just sitting out on your porch, munching on your veggies, and, and your dog was sitting there eating some dog food and then looked up and was like, oh, hey, you know what? That, that looks good. I think I'd like to try me some of that delicious looking green stuff you got on your plate. And then it takes a, you know, a tiny little bite. It takes the, takes the little piece of lettuce in its little paws, takes a little nibble, has an ongoing conversation with you. I mean, you know, dogs eat salads now, so it just naturally makes sense. They can do every other thing that a dog would never do, right? Right? Come here. Come here. Okay. Okay, so this is Bonnie. She is my little <clears throat> vegetarian. Okay, I immediately feel so bad for this dog right now because she looks so miserable. Just look, just look at her sad little face for a moment. This is a dog that tries so hard to please its owner, but it probably is star half starving because it probably is never allowed to eat anything good. Uh, you know, I really, I really don't like people like this owning animals because it just seems like they're so abusive to their animals. You know what I mean? It's like she's clearly probably starving this thing and probably being pretty mean to it j just to try and push this whole sort of like little vegan agenda she's got going on. So, I don't know. Can we, can we do something about these kinds of people? Okay. Now, no, 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 no. Don't eat that. No, no, no. Eat that salad. Look, salad. Oh, I am shocked. No way. The dog went for the meat. Who could have seen that one coming, right? Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm my mind is blown. It did not go for the salad straight away. You had to yank its face away and shove it in the salad first. Well, now that you've pointed its nose in the right direction, I'm 100% confident that, uh, that it's going to chow down on this delicious salad here. And I don't force her to eat her salad. It's what she likes. Thanks, Sergeant. That's a nice thought for an idiot to have. Do we need the salad? Here, pick one. No, no, no. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the peak of karma. This stupid, stupid lady got embarrassed on TV. And now everybody all over the internet, a good one million people just about, have now seen her little oopsie. And you know what? I just love the top voted comment here. I mean, that's borderline cruelty. Dogs don't just eat vegetables. That's like feeding your child grass. Somebody get that dog away from that loon. 
I honestly could not have put it better myself. This dog needs some therapy. Its owner needs some therapy. Get the dog on a good diet. Give it, so, give it a, some owners that love it and actually appreciate animals. Maybe someone with some nice kids. Okay, get, get this woman like, oh gosh, I don't know, a goldfish? Something she can't screw up too bad, I don't know. Really, this whole thing brings up a very big important question, okay? The question isn't, should, should vegans be allowed to own dogs? The question isn't, should people be fined for abusing their animals? The real question is, is Kids Mop 38 actually straight fire though? Help me, it's like the walls are caving in. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with no on that one.